Hello everyone, I am going to discuss Booth's algorithm in this session. The Booth algorithm is the powerful algorithm for sign number multiplication. And usually the Booth's algorithm will generate uh, a 2 and bit products. And also it treats both the positive as well as the negative numbers uniformly. And also the number of operations can be reduced using Booth's algorithm. Generally in Booth's algorithm, we will be just applying the recording scheme over here. So we will be just combining two value and we will write the recorder value for those two combined value. So this is a Booth's algorithm's recording scheme. If you combine 0 and 1, the final recorder value will be minus 1. 1 and 0 if you combine, the recorder value will be 1. 0, 0, 0. For 1 and 1, the recorder value 0. Now, always and also like always you can record only the multiplier value binary number of your multiplier value you can be recorded here so let us record one value first for example we have taken 101100 now you need to before recording you just imagine 10 over here now you just start combining it towards the left 0 and 0 yeah for 0 and 0 the recorded value is 0 again 0 and 0 0 0 and 1 minus 1 1 and 1 0 1 and 0 1 0 and 1 minus 1 another example again you imagine 0 here 0 and 1 minus 1 1 and 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 and 1 minus 1 1 and 1 0 1 and 0 1 this is how you need to record it let us discuss one example now one example we'll take one example we'll apply Booth's algorithm for multiplying it. So there will be one multiplicand as well as one multiplier is needed to perform the multiplication operation. Multiplicand is plus 13 and multiplier is minus 6. They have given it in decimal form. Now you are supposed to convert these two numbers into the binary now. So the binary value for 13 is 1101. The binary value for 6 is 1 1 0 you need to check whether the, the both the multiplier as well as the multiplier is holding the equal number of bits if not you need to make it equal when you check 13 there are four bits here it is holding four bits 1 1 0 1 if for 6 it is holding only 1 1 0 so you just normalize it first make it equal you add 1 0 here now this is the binary value for 13 and this is the binary value for 6 but here they have given the negative uh, symbol over here negative sign so for plus 6 this is the binary value for minus 6 you need to take the 2's complement of the actual binary value of 6 when you take 2's complement you will be getting 1 0 1 0 fine finally we found the value of plus 13 binary value of plus 13 as well as the binary value of minus 6 we have identified now. Now, after identifying the actual binary value, you need to check the sign now and also you need to add the sign bit in the place of most significant bit. Now, here if it is positive, you need to add this is the binary value for plus 13 and this is the binary value, sorry, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is the binary value for minus 6 you need to add sign bit over here. If it is plus, you add 0 here. If it is minus, you add 1 over here. Now, you can start recording it. You can record only the binary value of the multiplier. This is the multiplier value. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 is the multiplier value. Now, you imagine 0 here. Start recording it. 0 and 0. 0, 0 and 1, minus 1, 1 and 0, 1, 0 and 0, minus 1, 1 and 1, 0. So the recorded value here is 0, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1 and 0. Now you can multiply this recorded value along with the multiplicand. Your multiplicand value is 1, sorry, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Our multiplier values, the recorded multiplier value is 0, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 0. Now, you can start multiplying it. You take 0. 0 into 1, 0. Again, 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0 into 1, 0. Then again, 0 into 0, 0. 
as i told you in the beginning it generates 2n bit product so here the n value is 1 2 3 5 bits fine so it must generate 2 into n bits product right so you need to add the five more zeros whatever is there in the last position you must extend it five more times over here since there is zero over here you add five more zeros over here in the most significant bit three four five times you have added zeros then again minus one you are just going to multiply zero double one zero one with minus one so shall we take two's complement of zero double one zero one and write over here since it is negative over here so if you take two's complement you will be getting the value one one zero zero one that's it fine so you need to extend it till over here right so whatever is there whatever the element is there in msb you'll be extending with that only so in msb you have one over here so you just extend it with one till this position then again plus one is there one into zero one one zero one again one zero one one zero since zero is there in the last position you extend it with zero since it is negative we are just taking the two's complement of your multiplicand only if it is negative we will be taking the two's complement of our multiplicand then again minus one if it is minus we need to take the two's complement of our multiplicand when we take two's complement we will be getting this value one then you extend it with one one here then again zero Fine. Now, so this is minus one. Two is complicated of multiplicand. Fine. Now, we can start adding it. If you add, you'll get zero. Here one. Zero. Zero. Zero one. Zero zero. One, one, zero, one, 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 and one will be the carry. This you can ignore, and this is the final product. The final product must be plus thirteen into minus six must be minus seventy-eight. You identify the binary value for thirty-eight. Two take two's complement, and that will be the minus seventy-eight binary value of minus 78 we'll discuss another example multiplicand is going to be minus 13 and multiplier is minus 20 now we need to identify the binary value of 13 and 20 you just normalize it check whether uh, both are having holding the equal number of bits or not if not you just normalize it and take two since there is a negative sign over here take two's complement of 13 as well as two's complement of 20 and finally you add sign bit and then you start recording it the first step is the binary value of 13 the binary value of 13 is 1 1 0 1 Next, the binary value of 20. Binary value of 20 is 1, 0, 1, double 0. When you check, the 20 is holding 5 bits and 13 is holding only 4 bits. So, you add 1, 0 over here. Now, you check the sign. Both are holding the negative sign. If so, you are supposed to take the 2's complement of 13 as well as 20. So, when you take 2's complement, the actual minus 13 value you will be able to get. So, the actual minus 13 value is 1. 0 0 1 1 then after taking 2's complement minus 20 value will be 0 1 1 0 0 fine we reach we found the minus 13 value as well as the binary value of minus 20 now you check the sign you need to add sign bit over here if it is negative you need to add 1 here if it is positive you need to add 0 here since it is negative you are adding 1 here again 20 is also negative we are adding 1 here now you are just going to multiply it using boots algorithm concept now in boots algorithm always will be recording only the multiplier here the multiplier is minus 20 so we are just going to record the binary value of minus 20 
imagine 0 here when you combine 0 0 0 again 0 0 0 0 1 minus 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 minus 1 this is the recorded value of our multiplier now we'll start multiplying it along with the recorded value this is the multiplier and the recorded value sorry multiplicand and the recorded value of our multiplier is 0 0 minus 1 0 plus 1 then again minus 1 now we are just going to multiply these two fine 0 into double 1 double 0 double 1 will be double 1 double 0 double 1 only so it is producing it is going to generate 2n bit product right so we will be extending the last bit how many bits are there 6 bits are there 6 more times you are just going to extend the last bit one since there are 6 bits over here we are extending our last bit 6 more times over here sorry i made a mistake this is 0 into double 1 double 0 1 1 right so everything will be 0 very sorry fine we are extending it with zeros then again zero into the multiplicand all will be zeros again then again minus one into double one double zero double one right if it is negative we will be taking the two's complement of our multiplicand fine the two's complement of if you take two's complement of this multiplicand the value will be 1 0 1 1 0 0 right last bit is 0 so we extend it with zeros then again 0 all will be zeros again fine again 1 so 1 1 0 0 1 1 last bit is 1 so you extend it with 1 then again minus 1 again you need to take 2's complement of your multiplicand when you take 2's complement of your multiplicand you will get 1 0 1 1 0 0 you extend it with 0 now you can add when you add you will get 0 0 1 again 0 then 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 you will get 1 will be carry and you can ignore fine this is the final product when you multiply 13 into 20 minus 13 into minus 20 will be plus 260 find out the binary value for 260 and cross verify it this is how we need to multiply two values using Boots algorithm. Thank you.